Hey guys, what is up? It is me, Pink here, and quickly before we get into the video, I just wanted to say make sure to hit that subscribe button and make sure to press the bell beside the subscribe button so you're notified whenever I upload. Anyways, enjoy the video. Thanks for watching Lillian for me. I don't know how long this court session will take, so I'll call you once I'm on my way back, okay? That's fine with me. Alright, see you all later tonight. Bye, Mommy! Oh, you got here before me. Only by a few minutes. The lawyers are already inside, waiting. Is Lillian with your mom? Yeah, I didn't want to bring her to something like this. Ah, I understand. Um, how are you feeling? Are you nervous or anything? I'm okay. Uh, I'm a bit nervous since we have no idea what tricks Sungji has up his sleeve, but you replaced the jury and the judge last night, right? Yep. There's no way he's tampered with it. Good, good. I just hope everything runs smoothly today. I hope so, too. Well, if it isn't my ex-wife and her new boyfriend... B boyfriend What do you want, Sungji? Nothing. Just wanted to speak to you both before court started. Well, we don't want to talk to you, so keep moving. Ouch, being hateful so early in the morning. Well, I wouldn't have a reason to be hateful if you just dropped this whole case. You know I can't do that, Pink. I know you can. You just won't. Maybe. Maybe not. Anyways, I'll let you lovebirds get back to whatever you were doing. God, I can't stand him! You just have to deal with him today, and that's it. Core is about to start. We should go in. <sighs> Fine. Are you sure everything is taken care of? Yes. Everything has been triple-checked. Those lawyers Mr. Anderson brought in to help really did their job. They almost gave me a run for my money. Good. I'm glad they helped out. So, this court trial could go a number of ways depending on what Sung Ji and his lawyer decide to bring up. You might have to be put on the stand, so prepare for that just in case. Alright, I will. Pink, you ready? Uh, ready as I'll ever be, I guess. Don't worry, you got this. Thanks. <laughs> hey, Pink? Hmm? I was wondering, after this hearing, did you want to... All right! Tell me later, Jacob. Department 3 of Hilda Court is now in session. George Henry presiding. Please be seated. Good morning, everyone. 
calling the case of Choi Sung Ji and Pink Elfin for a custody hearing. Are both sides ready? Ready, Your Honor. Ready, Your Honor. The defense for Choi Sung Ji, please present your case. Yes, Your Honor. I am here today to defend Mr. Chow in a battle of custody. Miss Elfin has been withholding visitations from my client, so we have to come to court today to fight for the custody of Mr. Chow's child. Is that all? Yes. May the defense for Miss Elfin please stand and present your counter case? Yes, Your Honor. Today we are here to prove that Mr. Choi has no legal obligation to see his child, since Miss Elfin is the sole caregiver based on another ruling in a different country. Is that all? Yes. All right, please be seated. So, we have the custody battle of a Miss Lillian Elfin, is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. All right. The defense for Pink Elfin, please call your first witness. We'd like to call Pink Elfin to the stand. Please stand, raise your right hand. Do you promise that the testimony you shall give in the case before this court shall be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? So help you God. I do. Please give your first and last name. Pink Elfin. You may be seated. Hello, Miss Elfin. I hope you're doing well today. I'm doing okay. That's good. Anyways, when were you told that your ex-husband was filing a custody battle against you for your daughter? Well, he first threatened it on Christmas Eve, but it wasn't final until a week after that. When you say threaten, what do you mean? He came uninvited to my house during the middle of the night and started instigating, talking about how he was going to take Lillian back and whatnot. And what did you do? I did what any sane person would do. I told him to leave before I got the authorities involved. He was trespassing on my property at a late hour. I'm just glad someone was at my house during that time. He might have tried to force his way in otherwise. OBJECTION! SPECULATION! Hold on. Why do you think he would have forced his way in? Because that's the kind of person he is. He'd do anything to get what he wants, even if it meant hurting others. OBJECTION! There is no evidence to prove what Miss Elfin is saying is true or not! <sighs> Strike what was said off the record. Isn't it true, Miss Elfin, that you and Mr. Choi have already gone to court about this matter? Yes, we had a custody hearing in South Korea. I was given full custody of Lillian that day. And is that paperwork just valid in South Korea or anywhere in the world? It's valid anywhere. I made sure of that before moving here with Lillian. Is there an expiration date on the paperwork? No, that's impossible. So why is Mr. Choi starting another custody battle when he has no rights to Lillian Elfin at all? Doesn't that seem a bit useless? Why would someone who signed all their rights away try to get their rights back? Okay, that is all I needed to hear. Miss Elfin, you may go back to your seat. Yes, we call Chao Sungji to the stand. Do you promise that the testimony you shall give in the case before this court shall be the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth, so help you God? I do. Please say your first and last name. Sungji Choi. Please be seated. When was the last time you saw your daughter? About seven months ago. Objection! That is a false statement. Mr. Choi had visitation with his daughter a week ago, per his request. Miss Elfin was gracious enough to accept. Is this true? Yes, but before that, it had been about seven months and I had seen her. I wanted to say hello to my little girl before the court hearing, just in case. 
Okay, continue. So, what happened during the original custody hearing? Do you remember anything? No, I don't really remember much of that day. I had been under the influence the night before and was still feeling the effects during the custody hearing. And just what are you trying to get at here? What my client is trying to say is that he wasn't in his right mind when he signed those papers. That's why we'd like a chance to redo the entire hearing. Hmm. Objection! We have proof that Mr. Troy was in his right mind during the hearing. He answered questions with certainty and didn't get anything incorrect when signing the paperwork. He knew exactly what he was doing. Mr. Choi, do you have any other reasons why you should be granted another hearing? Because what you're telling me right now it just isn't enough to persuade me. It seems to me that you started this just to do something. I... <sighs> Fine. I... I really didn't want to say this, but the night before the court hearing, I was... I was pressured into signing my rights away. Pressured? Yes. The night before, Miss Elfin came to me and threatened to expose my affairs and destroy my career if I didn't sign my rights away. Objection! Speculation! There is no evidence that my client even did this! Hang on. Continue. I knew signing my rights for Lillian was wrong, but I just couldn't lose my job. I was cowardly, and it finally took enough courage to fight back against Miss Elfin so I can have my daughter back. I can't believe this. OBJECTION! OVERRULED! Do you have any evidence to prove what you are saying is true? Lillian. Lillian was there when it happened. Ask her! She'll tell the truth! You! Pink, stay calm. I... Where is Lillian? Lillian is at home with my mother. Alright then. Meeting adjourned. I will hear Lillian's testimony and make my verdict based on that. We shall continue this case tomorrow morning at 9. Pink. That jerk! He has the nerve to bring Lillian into this and say I blackmailed him? Are you kidding me? I didn't know such thing. I don't care about his pointless career or how many girls he cheated on me with. Pink, you need to calm down. Don't tell me to calm down, Jacob. I have the right to be angry right now. I'm not saying that. You just need to lash out somewhere else and not in front of a courthouse. How dare you? How dare you bring Lillian into this? You're scum and always will be. All I told them was what happened. Lillian will tell them everything. What did you say to her? The truth. Get out of my sight right now. See you both tomorrow morning. Sungji must have said something to Lillian when he took her that day. I need to go home and talk to Lillian. I'll drive you. You're a bit too angry to drive right now. Fine, whatever. Let's go. Pink, you're back early. Did everything go well? Mommy? What did your dad tell you? Uh, huh? Lillian, what did your father tell you the other day? Pink, don't yell at her. What is going on? Sungji is using Lillian as a witness tomorrow during court because she knows the truth. What? Lillian, please, tell me what did your father say to you? I... 